Hi there, hello there, hi! Today's video involves an easy craft project with some Lego bricks and a closer look at the Lego Star Wars sets that have recently been announced that I am very excited for. I had the pleasure of attending Star Wars Celebration recently and a big part of this event is hearing and seeing all the amazing new Star Wars themed releases coming over the next few years. In regards to Lego Star Wars though, the wait won't be that long. The Lego group had an amazing stand with lots of panels, activities, and experiences. And here are the LEGO Star Wars sets that I'm so excited to show you. They are currently available for pre-release, coming out on May 1st. LEGO Star Wars has made these two new sets, celebrating 40 years of Return of the Jedi, to recreate your favorite memories from the movie. Here we have the Emperor's Throne Room, which recreates the epic showdown between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Then we have the Indoor Speeder Chase, bringing to life the exhilarating speeder bike chase that happened on Endor. As Star Wars fans, we all have our favorite moments, memories, props, and things that we love, and LEGO Star Wars does a brilliant job of bringing those to life. So I really enjoy the new sets where you get to recreate those moments. The LEGO group is encouraging everyone to get involved and recreate their own hashtag Return of Your Jedi moment too. You can check out all the new sets on LEGO.com, but before that, let's do a craft project. After Star Wars Celebration, I went straight to Japan. I am in Japan currently. And I have craft supplies I got in Japan, and for this video we are doing a LEGO Star Wars themed project. For this project, all you need is a marker, colored pencils, a sheet of paper, and your LEGO bricks. To start out, we pour the LEGO bricks across the paper, and we're going to make a map. The LEGO bricks give a nice random pattern, and using our marker, we're going to roughly trace around them, keeping the lines very squiggly and map-like. And today, to keep with the Star Wars theme, I'm making a map of Endor. I am adding a few extra islands and dots and things around here. However, the cool thing about the planet of Endor, which one of the new LEGO sets is based off of, is that Endor is a planet with just 8% water. Meaning, I'm using the pattern in between where you normally have water in a map, as a different variation of grass. So I am being sure to throw some trees in there to remind myself you are not coloring that part in blue. On Endor, we also have the Ewoks with their really cool tree houses. I am keeping the map basic, fun, sketch-like, throwing in some Star Wars elements. This activity is super easy. And I like that every time it's going to be different because you don't know how the Lego bricks are gonna fall. You don't know how they're gonna be placed. You can use your mind, your creativity. <laughs> And now it's basically a coloring book. So I'm going to use my colored pencils to color in the main shapes. And then I'm using something different here and incorporating my Lego bricks to help me out. I have chalky pastels here and I'm using my Lego brick to chip off the color. And then using a paintbrush, I'm smearing it into the page. Sometimes colored pencils have those harsh lines and edges and take a very long time just to color in. And this provides a nice airbrush, watercolor-esque effect to the page without having to use watercolor or an airbrush. <laughs> just that nice little pop of color that you need. The island-like shapes, I'm using a darker green mixed in with shades of the lighter green. I really enjoy this process. It just goes very quickly and is quite fun. You don't have to worry about being precise here as well because only where you press the color in is where it'll stay. So if the flakes land somewhere that you don't want color to be, you can just lightly brush them off rather than smearing them in with the paintbrush. And they will not stick. So again, there's a lot of control. <laughs> These are a chalkier pastel versus oil pastels, which I would not recommend doing this with. <laughs> Again, Endor is a planet that has very little water in Star Wars, so I will be making this map mostly green in tone, and then in between, I'm using yellow and green to make it more path-like. However, if you're doing a traditional type map, you can definitely utilize these shapes as islands with the water in between. This is my favorite way to use pastels, actually, just to add that little sprinkle of color, quite literally. <laughs> then we just fill out some details, have fun with it, and we have a Star Wars themed map here. I really enjoy doing projects like this. They're lots of fun. You can do many different versions, and I really enjoy Star Wars. So doing a drawing of Endor was definitely very fun. <laughs> I think in the Star Wars universe, Endor is one of my top planets. I like all the nature. I do not think I could do a desert planet. That's not a me. <laughs> but trees, I like trees. Again, this map was inspired by LEGO Star Wars and the new sets that are being released. I'm a huge fan of LEGO Star Wars, and I cannot wait for the new sets and to be able to build them. If you do leave a comment down below, do be sure to use the hashtag and share with me your favorite moment from Star Wars. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, goodbye, bye.